So, Kenny, another disappointing, spineless shambles of a performance. We've just lost 3-0 at the Emirates to a Liverpool team that have been in free fall recently and they weren't even in top gear. It was a, not, it was a depleted team, um, ravaged with injuries. They have started to get some of them back, of course, but they weren't even in top gear. And, um, mate, where do we dissect this? Right? Let, let's just go straight into it. Let's just start with the, with the rating. Let's just go with the goalkeeper, Leno. Very disappointing for... Very disappointing for the first goal and the second goal. You know, you know, he had a good um, vein of form when we started this season, but recently he's going back to his bad old ways. I don't know what it is. Is it because we're under a lot more pressure? But the first goal, all he has to do is stand tall, and then he gives them a better chance of tipping it over the bar. And the second one as well, if you narrow the angles. All you've got to do is just stand still and make, let Salah make the decision. Don't make the decision for him and open your legs. I'm sorry, that's a four. Four, mm. that was just that was just bad. You know, I was, for those two mistakes, that's a four. That's mistakes, mate. I'm sorry. but uh, Let's go to Kieran Tierney. Obviously, went off through injury. I haven't seen, um, as of yet, as I record this, I haven't seen the extent of that injury, but he looked in bits at the end, like as he was walking off. You see, when the um, when the medical staff came on, he, he said straight away, he said, no, I'm done. Yeah, and we see Virgil van Dijk walk off the pitch and he's been out all season. So I'm praying, fingers crossed, he's going to be all right because we're going to need him because well, replacements are just not good enough. Well, yeah, definitely. The problem is, is that, let's face it, he, he was part of the struggle. He did mm. struggle today in terms of like the uh, Alexander-Arnold was getting, a, getting in behind him anyway. And it, it wasn't, a, 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 how do I say it? It wasn't an impressive performance for him in any way. And before that injury, I would give him a five anyway. It wasn't good. It wasn't mm. a good look for Kieran. No, 100%. The fact he went off so close to half time as well tells me it's kind of bad. But hopefully, fingers crossed, he's going to be all right because it's, mate, we're, 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 we're worrying after, after him. And like you said, he was poor tonight anyway. I said that as well. Yeah. Um, let's move to Callum Chambers. Um, somebody who's been put into the team out of nowhere, really. Hector Bellerin's a thing of the past, but what did you make of Callum tonight? Well, Hector, Hector's not really a thing of the past because we expect, probably expect Hector to play on Thursday. And maybe Hector's now, he's um, the go-to man for what he considers to be more important matches. But Callum Chambers looked, looked like a centre-half that plays at right back. Hmm. You know, he, Liverpool, the good thing about it, he did, he did try to um, cope well with um, Mane, to a certain extent, when Mane was holding the ball too long, but what's happening? What's happened is that he probably had to do a lot of that because he had to. It was a thing of where Mane took him in the areas he didn't really need to go into because, you know, when Mane plays the lift, it drops in, and then what happens is that it leaves it leaves it leaves space for um, Robertson, and I think I think that to, to a certain extent, in the first half Callum did okay. But his second half, again, he was part of the struggle. And for that second goal, unforgivable. Their first goal was unforgivable, mate. You could see everything, Ryan. You know, when the cross goes in, you're meant to be, you're meant, you should be telling holding either it's my ball or just stay out of there. Don't go in there and try and panic. Because what you do is that when you panic and it's, you, go, you, you bump into the defender, the forward's got an easy header. He's got a clear yeah. shot, clear goal. And for that defensive mistake, that's a five, mate. That's a five. I don't I don't like errors like that. Let's go uh, Rob Holding. Back in the team again today, David Luiz was obviously out. And um, again, some of the defending tonight. Jesus Christ. Well, first, the first half with Rob, he did, again, <clears throat> Liverpool didn't hurt. Liverpool had kind of half chances and they were kind of um, getting in behind us. But one thing about Rob Holding as well, he did struggle with Mane. Mane rolled him quite a few times. Was and because Mane was rolling him, he was it. It was a case of where you were just hoping that Mane doesn't get into the penalty box. Thankfully, that didn't happen. But in the second half, again, Rob Holding the second, the first and third goal isn't a good look. Rob Holding needs to be in charge of that situation. The same thing that he did against Man City with Sterling. Yeah. yeah. Same situation where he's ball watching. Is in, in sort of watching his man, and then he's caught legging footed, not acceptable. And then the third goal as well. Yes, we he's got to be in charge of that. Yeah, Liverpool 
were more pro, um, reactive and more aggressive, he has to be in charge of that. So for that, that's a four, mate. That's a four. It's not acceptable, uh, that four. Let's go to his uh, defensive partner, uh, Gabriel. Not acceptable. The four. First half, he looked very strong. He coped, he coped well with um, Firmino, um, I thought. In the first or second half, he panicked. He panicked. He panicked because, once again, Liverpool had a, were, um, were in a situation of the second half and we were a bit where we were matching Liverpool for effort. But the minute Liverpool got an extra man on, he panicked. The, the, the minute the ball, Fabinho puts that ball in, he's got a win. He's got a header it. He shouldn't even rely on his pace, especially when you've got someone like Salah. So, yeah. so, so uh, yeah, Salah. And then for, for him to get in a situation, the minute Salah is on that front foot, you can't tackle him. And if you do tackle him, you've got to make sure you get the ball. Because if you don't and you miss it, he's either going to go down or he's going to do what he did now and wait for you to make it a mistake and then he's going to score. Third one, he panics again. But this time he, he doesn't, he panics in a very sh- sloppy way and a very arrogant way. Risk and reward. Remember, my manager says play out the back. Cost us, cost us a goal. But let's face it, it didn't really cost us a game because once Liverpool got an extra man on, they were, they were, they, it was always a matter of time. For me, that's a free. Sorry. Uh, let's move into midfield. Let's go with Danny Ceballos. Oh, that poor man. That poor guy. He came to us as a, as a creative midfielder and we're trying to turn him into a player that is giving him defensive duties, which he just can't do. He works, he's, he tries, he tries, he tries, but he's just so bad. And then, mm. and what he does is that because he's so bad, and when he loses the ball, he puts extra pressure on these midfield, particularly Partey. And Danny, poor guy, four. And that's generous. Yeah, let's move on to Thomas Party. Struggling, struggling. And I think it wasn't a case, he struggled in two counts. One, I thought Fabinho wrestled the game away from him, wrestled control of the game. He's the best player in the park. And two, he was carrying Darnie as well. And that combination is a good combination. And for me, it's a four. And the problem we have with Thomas, the f- two things that happen after him next season, he gets fitter and you get a proper midfielder next to him because next he's making a lot of mistakes. Now, is he making the mistakes out of over lack of fitness or is he making the mistakes because he feels he has to do two or three, two people's jobs. That's the question for the next manager. Yeah. Next Mike Odegaard. Um, he's been pretty decent recently. Well, in his game, this was in his game. Liverpool was too much on the front foot for him to be effective. To the extent that they, the game passed him by. The game, he was doing more tracking back than he was putting a team to do. And it's just, it's, it, it was ruthless and it's just premiership level. And he's going to find that when you, if he becomes a permanent player in this country, there's going to be a lot of times against better teams where he's going to be a passenger in games. And today, it's just a, it's a four. It's and it's it's not it's not a criticism. It's just that he wasn't his game. Uh, Nicola Pepe. Nicola Pepe has gone back to his bad old ways, but there is extenuating circumstances. The extent is that you can't do anything. You don't get the ball. Yeah. Simple. He didn't have yeah. the ball. Is that is that to trap back? Um, to help out, to help out his um, right back, Callum Chambers is a, is a centre half. He had no effect to this whatsoever. It's harsh, but you've got to say, did he affect the game? No, and that's got to be another four. But that's not a, a crit. That's a, just a, a praise of performance. But that's not criticising him. But you, you know, he didn't have the ball. Uh, let's move on to the opposite side. The club captain. You've got to ask yourself, you've got to, he's shredded on thin ice with the fans and probably with his manager. The only thing keeping this man in the team is the fact that we need to win some sort of silverware to get in the top four. And, we, and that's Europa Cup. And you know, if you get one chance, the height is highly likely he will score you, that, score you that goal. Unfortunately, if you're not creating chances, we're not on the ball, what's the point of him? Really, what's the point of him? It's a very hard to... Uh, Thing. I think I was angry at the West Ham Forts, but to be honest, he, he, he got on the ball, put one cross in, ineffective, free. I can't give him um, the free. Let's go. That's, uh, to be fair, you've given him free more than I would have given him. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with Lacazette. Lacazette, again, you know, Lacazette has to be on his, on his metal or he's just ineffective. 
you know, he wasn't holding the ball up well at all. He was another player that struggled and was a bit of a passenger, you know. And for me, I can't get, I can maybe a four, and that, that's generous. Um, that, hmm. Go on, mate. Go on. No, no, I think, and that's the problem. But when you, when you, when you analyse Lacazette and Aubameyang's performances this season, it emphasises the point that we definitely need a new centre forward, a complete top class centre forward, if we're gonna win the league, get in the top four, and if we do get in those perfect competitions, win in Europe. But Aubameyang and Lacazette, at this moment of time, and if you look at, there are Europa League level players. It's, yeah. Sorry, but I, I have to be honest. Um, substitutes, we brought on Cedric for Tierney. I think Cedric, I think Cedric um, was uh, more progressive. He did more defending than what he wanted it to do. But, but, you know, he was tenacious. And you know what? He gave a good account of himself. But it was an losing cause. I gave him a five. Uh, Mohamed El Nenny. Well, it's easy to blame the Mohamed El Nenny, but you know, let's face it, he he he, he was um, part of the problem for the third goal, and I, I could only give him a three. You know, mm. when we're really bad, really bad, you kind of notice how bad he he can be. Mm. Um, Gabriel Martinelli, we've all been crying out for him to be in the team. Um, it's, 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 in bad circumstances tonight. Yeah, but it? the thing about it is that he's 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 willing. He works hard. He runs and everything. And if, for effort, you can give him a five. But in terms of what you brought him in the field for, you really can't give him. You 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 only give him a five, and which I'm going to give him is because he he tried. That's mm. it. Because he tried. Let's go. Uh, last but by no means least, this manager. Um, well, the, the, the manager needs to realise right is that. He can't use this as an excuse, saying, oh, I had four players out because you've had these four players out in various matches after the new year and we've had good performances and good results. Whatever you said at, um, before the game didn't work. Whatever you said at half-time fell in deaf ears and, and that's, a prob- that's a problem. Uh, it's all right you getting angry with the players and showing your anger, but the fact of the matter is, is that you're selecting players who are making errors, not just once, but they're making continual errors during a football match. So it has to be down to you. And in terms of team selection, and team selection, maybe, but motivation and what you do behind the scenes isn't working, Mikel. And it didn't work a day. Free, mate. Free. You, you've, got, uh, you've got to take... You've got, uh, you, I'll tell you, has got to take part of the can as well. You can't just blame the players. I think this is on you as well today, mate. Mm, no, I agree. I thought um, I knew after five minutes we we were going to lose that football match. I just knew there was too many players that they looked lost, and mm. uh, he looked lost on the touchline. If I'm honest, but listen, Kenny, thanks very much, man. Appreciate it, and um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully on Thursday when we play Sparta Prague, we put in a better performance. Otherwise, look, we look, lose look, 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 look. The thing is, right, is that we're a tenth, we're the ninth best team in the cup Premiership. Which means we 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 have to work hard to win football matches. We can't just turn up and win. And Sparta Prague have beaten two good teams mm. on the way to playing us, and they're going to fancy their chances because they they want two reasons. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take two. One, they play together for a long time. They're winning matches in their own league, so they're actually coming into the game in good form. We're not in good form. Hundred percent. Now, nice one, Kenny. Thank you, mate. 